As you probably already know, it's Ford Transit's 36th birthday this year. And early on in the series, we went down to the Ford Transit factory in Southampton to take a look at the building of it from start to finish. But we never got a chance to test drive it. And today, Tim does. here that test drivers undergo special appraisal to make sure they can assess the things that we're looking for in this van. And here we're looking at things like making sure that the steering is correct, the ride, the handling, and also looking at maybe the sound and noise that we're going to get inside the cab. Also you get in vans, one of the biggest problems we get is high-pitched boom and noise from the rear axle. Because it's quite a large, dense vehicle, you find that you actually get a lot of noise from the rear axles. So that's where drivers really come into it. Very difficult for robots to pick up that sort of noise. It's rather subjective rather than objective. The test centre we've got here at Dunton, the track itself is more like an appraisal track. It's not like your full test facilities that you might get in the UK for something similar like Myra or for uh, Millbrook. But you've got two cambers here, a left-hand side, a right-hand side, and a couple of straights, which is sufficient to be able to test the vehicle to a certain level, but certainly wouldn't get you to be able to pass it, for instance, for instance it's national type approval, things like that. This criteria is part of a formal test that the engineers have set. Some of these can be short as half an hour, or as long as an hour and a half to two hours. The test then is scored. If the vehicle passes a test that the engineers have agreed with, then that's fine. If it doesn't, they have to go back to the drawing board and start again. So, if I was appraising this vehicle, what would I think? Well, first of all, it does drive quite well and takes the corners reasonably well, but I do find it quite noisy. Now, I don't know if this is because of function of the automatic gearbox that we've got here, but compared to the modern engines that we get nowadays, I find this a little bit noisier than I expected. Now, for instance, here, the hands-off speed, if you like, is about 47 miles an hour, or about 75 kilometers an hour. That means that what I can do, in theory, is actually take the vehicle through the bank to the top and take my hands off the wheel, and the vehicle will drive itself round the bank. That's what is common in a lot of the test tracks. Thank you. 